Hey up everybody, uh, I'm just in the middle of make, uh, making a project that I'm doing, it's a mechanical hacksaw, uh, if, you, if you've not seen that take a look back in my videos and you'll, you'll see that, but on this project that I'm doing I've got to machine a keyway into a gear, uh, I've not got no brooches, I've not got a slotting machine or anything like that, which is the correct way to do it, do slotting I suppose, but I've got a lathe so I'm just doing this really to show any beginners that's setting out in this hobby how you can do a keyway in a bore, how you can slot a keyway on your lathe. So it's just a quick video while I'm in the middle of this project for anybody that, that might uh, be setting out. I know all you seasoned machinists and professionals out there are going to know all this but it's just for any beginners really. So I'll take you over to me at my lathe and we'll have a look how I'm going to do this. So depending on what size hole you're going to put this keyway into, it'll depend on what size bar you're going to use. So you choose a boring bar of a suitable size that's going to fit in the bore. And then you've got to put your tool sideways on, make a tool to the correct width of the keyway that you want to put into that uh, gear in my case and what I've done I've got a piece of tool steel 3 sixteenths square tool steel which slots into my boring bar I've ground a, a 1 8 it's not actually this one it's the one that's in the lathe now but just just to show you I've ground a 1 8 wide we'll call it like a parting tool one eighth wide at the front same clearance as you'd put on it as like what you put on a parting tool and what you're going to do you're going to put that in your boring bar in the unconventional way uh, sideways so it's like that then you must get the correct centre height that's half the distance of the tool onto the centre height, centre line of the job. So once you've got the centre height set, clamp the, clamp the tool exactly parallel to the lathe bed. And then uh, it's a bit of a slow job this because you can only take a couple of thou at a time. It depends what material you're cutting really. This is actually cast iron where I'm cutting which is fairly easy to cut. Brass is fairly easy, aluminium is. It's a bit tougher with steel, you'll have to it'll probably take you a bit longer if you're using a steel if you if your workpiece is made out of steel. Well this is cast iron and then once you've got your your centre height set, put your lathe in a very low gear so it's not going to move in the so the chuck's difficult to move. If you've got some sort of locking mechanism on your chuck, you could lock your chuck off. But I know once I'm in a low gear, this chuck's not going to move on the size of work that I'm cutting. And then get your boring bar in, feed your boring bar in, and then move your cross slide till it's just touching the job. Set your cross slide to zero so that you know how deep you're going to go and then it's just a matter of a couple of thou at a time feed it in with a saddle handle and each time you put a cut on follow it through a couple of times just to take the spring out uh, it'll be dependent what you're cutting how many times you've got to do that and then I'm just pouring a couple of thou at a time on like that you can't really go any you can't really put any more cut on than a couple of thou doing it this method so if you've not got a brooch or a slotting machine this is a, a way that to get round it using your lathe so I've got to go 330 seconds deep with this I've already start I already started it before I started doing this video but I'll just try and get my mirror to show you how I've progressed. 
Let's zoom in a little bit. I don't know how good you're going to see this, but I'll try. Right, can you see that slot forming now in that bore? I think that's got it. In my case, I'm moving in 3.30 seconds, which is 92 thou. Right, so I've already gone in uh, 40 thou, so I'll just do a few more cuts to show you. Right, so I'll continue with that then and uh, once I get to my depth we'll have another look at it. Uh, but it, it, the important part is to get your tool ground correctly to the correct width because you know you've got no adjustment, y your tool's forming your slot to your finished size. Right, 20 minutes later and I've got down to my depth. I should be able to see that a little bit better now. You want to move mirror opposite way when you're looking at camera. And torch. Oh, that's better. That's that one complete. This is the next one to do. That's it then. Jobs are good. So that's, uh, that gear is going to fit onto that shaft. And I've just got to make a key now to fit that. So that's just a, a quick tip for any beginners out there. If you've got to do a keyway and not got any other other normal equipment to do it with like a brooch or a slotting machine um, you can do it on your lathe what this is for then it's for a project I'm doing at moment which I'll put up at a, at a later date so watch out for that if you've enjoyed that then give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and uh, I'll catch you on the next video so I'll sign off for now then thanks for watching bye for now